Hello my friends, Ahsoka here uh, with a advanced look at the McFarlane Toys DC v Multiverse Dark Knight's Metals the Grim Knight. So, this is an advanced review. Thank you to my friends at McFarland Toys for sending me this review. And, uh, wow. First of all, it's just a freaking fantastic figure. <laughs> That's my initial impression, but I'll get into my uh, into my thoughts in a minute. But a couple of things. So, first of all, on this review, I'm just going to focus on the Grim Knight. As you can see, I also have the rest of the first wave. Dawnbreaker, Devastator, and the Murder Machine. Uh, they are in the back. So, um, I will do another video later this week, um, or by the time you're watching this, it's probably already available, uh, which will, of course, I'll compare all of them together and do some nice group uh, video of all of them together. But for this one, I just wanted to, to focus on the Grim Knight. So, my initial per impressions, just taking him out of the box, I was just uh, floored by how awesome this figure is. So, first of all, the specs, let's get the specs out of the way. What does this guy come with? So, he comes with the usual trading card with this artwork which is a a take on the Jim Lee hush a famous hush pose well, I guess Batman being on a standing on a gargoyle, gargoyle is very common but yeah this step pose is definitely a callback to that hush uh, cover by Jim Lee so there's the card um, then here's the figure he comes with these two guns which are removable the ones that he's holding which I'll take off take off and let me just zoom in a little bit there there you go now we're getting the light better so those are the two guns then he comes with the set of guns in the back which is actually one piece so this is just one piece um, which I think is fine I mean obviously it would have been really cool to have every gun individually attached but this works I mean just for the uh, aesthetics and look of the figure it looks really great so and then of course he comes with his base but there he is in all his awesome glory so this figure is based on the dark Knight's Metal storyline. Obviously, this is a much grittier version of Batman, hence all the guns. Um, and then I think they just did an amazing job of just capturing that comic book look. And um, it's just beautiful. I mean, look at the, the sculpting detail on this guy. Yes. You know, let's just keep him here and then zoom in this way. There we go. I think that's better. So if you look at the sculpting work, it's just fantastic in every way. I mean, the amount of detail they put into this from all his weapons to um, the harnesses around his body, just just everything, the belts, the multiple belts. I mean, it's just a really awesome figure and it's just beautiful. Just the, the sculpting works awesome. He reminds me definitely of a Commando, the old Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. That's one that first comes to mind and there's his, uh, one of his guns I just removed. Let me take out the other gun. And this is a very Terminator 2 Arnold uh, looking gun to me. I'm not a gun guy. I don't know what these are called, but yeah, there he, there it is. And then let's take off the the back of it as well so you can just kind of get a sense of how he looks without the guns. So there he is without his guns. And he looks awesome even without his weapons attached and the and the back piece. I think he still looks really really sharp. And um, if we zoom in a little bit more so the, the the top of the costume, which I really like, it's so very much reminds me of the um, Nightmare Batman from uh, BBS. Just the um, I don't know the the scarf, I guess you could say. Yeah, the scarf around his neck. I love that look. Very militaristic look. And then let's turn him around some more. And the back looks awesome. There's the belt, the gauntlets. Um, on his uh, knee pads, he's even got the bat emblem on his knee pads, so that's super cool. Um, and the head sculpt, I love this head sculpt. It's a, it's a perfect, I think, Batman head sculpt. I've already gotten a ton of questions from people asking me if you could pop this out and put it on the, um, the regular release. I'm sure you could. I, for one, I'm not going to try because I've had bad luck trying to pop off heads from figures. Um, especially one I love this much. I don't really want to mess around with it. If I get another one, I'll try it. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to try to pop this head off. I'm sure you can, though. I mean, all these figures' heads pop off pretty easily, so I'm sure you wouldn't have any any problem doing dealing with it or doing that. Now, other people have asked me what else is removable, and not really much else. Um, just looking at the figure, 
doesn't look like there's a way to really remove any of this other stuff, which I don't really think you need to. All this stuff is attached. It's all loose, though. So it was all, like, individually sculpted pieces. Like, look at this belt. It's just, you know, it's its own one piece. Same thing with the belt across his chest. Everything is just so freaking cool. Um, articulation. So here, let's go ahead and articulate him a little bit. Let's move him around. I should probably... Take a step back for that. There you go. Um, so the articulation is great. I mean, it's the standard articulation on all these figures. It is a little bit hindered by all the awesome um, belts and pouches. I don't think you can move them around as much as you could another figure just because, you know, you can't really bend them all the way down because of the pouches. But again, that's because of the figure's um, accuracy to the comic book. So I'm totally fine with that. You guys know me. I'm not terribly hung up on articulation. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But uh, yeah, so I, the articulation is great, but you are going to have a little bit of trouble um, just because of all the belts and pouches. But other than that, he's awesome. How does he stack up against some other figures? So let's show him next to... The Batman Who Laughs. So height-wise, the Batman Who L Laughs is a little bit taller, about the uh, maybe about the same height. Um, yeah, it should be a little. Uh, I don't know, about the same height. So they look great together. I mean, the Batman Who Laughs is is supposed to be, you know, a. Uh, the um, uh, a long uh, gangly-ish fellow, so I think he they scale really well together. And then next, I'm going to put him next to the White Knight Batman, who I have on the stand here. And he looks great next to that. Scales really well together, as you can see. So yeah, there you go. They all look awesome. So he fits in really nicely with some of the previously released. Um, figures. So, yeah, overall, um, he is, uh, there he goes, he is a fantastic figure. I, I can't say enough about him. He's just beautifully sculpted, designed, executed. Uh, he's a ton of fun. I mean, he's like the Punisher of the, the Batman universe, and um, he looks great. I, they translated him really well from the comic book to the plastic. I think everyone involved did a fantastic job with this. I'm really excited about this figure, um, and I'm really excited about the rest of the wave. The Dawnbreaker, Devastator, and the Murder Machine all look fantastic as well, and I'll be doing reviews of those later in the week. And then, of course, I will do a group shot and a group review of them um, at the end so you can see how they all look together. But again, this is a home run. I got nothing negative to say about this figure. It's it's an amazing figure. So well done, McFarland Toys and everyone involved. Hope you guys enjoy this figure. Uh, these go on sale in September, uh, so you don't have to wait too long uh, for these figures. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, Ahsoka the Geek. And thank you all for your support. Oh, he fell over just as I was giving my my outro. Bummer. There he goes. Uh, but yeah, again, awesome figure. Well done, McFarland Toys. And uh, thank you all for watching this uh, quick video. Have a great day.